Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Canadian Professionals Pension Plan. And my name is Wu Ket Tran. I am the president of the Canadian Professionals Pension Plan. I am a physician as well, and I am the co-founder with Mr. J.P. Laporte. I'm uh, J.P. Laporte. I'm the treasurer, and uh, I'm also a pension lawyer. And so today we're going to be talking about the Canadian Professionals Pension Plan. And this particular video is really describing the pension plan for lawyers. So uh, this is really up to uh, into JP's uh, alleyway because this is really dedicated for professionals like JP and lawyers. So we're going to start. So what is in fact the Canadian Professionals Pension Plan? Like physicians, like dentists, like a lot of healthcare professionals who are self-employed, we do not have the benefit of a pension plan. And so for many self-employed individuals who particularly have uh, professional corporations, we are now able to create pension plans for ourselves. And so whereas in the past until today, Many people who work for government, who work for provincial government, federal government, or, municip or municipality, or even those individuals who are employees of big private corporations can benefit from pension plans. Professionals who are in corporate had never had the chance. And so today what we're doing is we're changing the landscape. And so why did we do it? Exactly for that reason, to make sure that all of the self-employed professionals can benefit from a pension plan. And I've always say that we all deserve a pension plan. So if you are currently contributing to your RSP, which many of us are, in fact, the statistics show that 98% of us are contributing to an RSP, then you might as well contribute into your own registered pension plan. And we're gonna describe the structure and we're gonna describe the benefits and at the end, you'll easily understand why if we are saving and contributing to our retirement plan and that we're doing in an RSP, we should strongly consider doing it in a pension plan starting today. JP, I leave it up to you. Okay, so in terms of how pensions work, everybody here should have a professional corporation or if you don't, you should be able to incorporate. It costs 250 bucks with the federal government. And the corporation would then sponsor a registered pension plan, which we call a PPP. And this registered pension plan would join into the CPPP. So your corporation makes contributions to the pension plan. Um, and those contributions are tax deductible. Once the money is inside the pension plan, it will grow tax sheltered, just like with an RSP. And then when we um, withdraw the funds in retirement in the form of a pension, while this is taxable in our hands, there are ways to mitigate, to reduce the income tax payable, for example, by doing income splitting with a spouse. So what are some of the top 10 highlights that we want to cover with you today? Well, it's designed by professionals for professionals. And it offers the largest tax deductions possible under the income tax over a lifetime. This is a very important point. It provides seven additional tax deductions that you do not get when you're using an RRSP. It does potentially offer the ability to transfer monies tax-free to your spouse on death or to your children, depending on whether or not they're also members of the plan. Because we're able to contribute a lot more, we end up with significantly more savings in retirement, so that's a plus. We can pay for life insurance with tax-deductible dollars. We won't get into that today, but this is something that's new. It's more flexible than other types of pension solutions like individual pension plans or multi-employer pension plans. It provides wider investment options than an RRSP. It's professionally managed and therefore has very low investment management fees. And it's great when we're starting a family pension with loved ones. Really, 
CPPP is designed for you, the lawyer, and your family. It's not for your clients. It's not for your staff. It's really designed for you as the busy professional that usually doesn't have time to look after your own affairs. Now, if we were to project over time how much money one can accumulate, the, our solution sits at the very top because we're able to significantly increase the contributions in connection or in relation or comparison with other solutions out there. We all know about the tax-free savings account. Fortunately, it only has a small annual contribution, which next year is going up to $6,500. The RSP is a much higher contribution, but it's capped. It only gives you one deduction. The IPP and the MEP, depending on how they're structured, could be uh, like an RSP. Uh, but the CPPP, because of the way that the tax rules work, allows us to put significantly more money. Therefore, if the rate of return is identical across solutions, by being able to put more in, we end up with more out when it's time to retire. One of the most powerful tax planning features of the CPPP is the concept of intergenerational wealth transfer, because it allows you to provide your family with stable and reliable retirement income, even in the event of death. So if you have structured a pension plan for your family and your kids are on the payroll, by making them members of the plan, should you pass away or you pass away with your spouse, all the capital instead of being taxed, which is what will happen if you stay in an RSP or a RIF, instead of being taxed, that capital would be untaxed within the pension plan and the children would have access to this surplus. So that can save families millions of dollars in unforeseen tax bills. And this is due to the fact that when the lawyer passes away, the assets that were sitting inside the pension plan now are recharacterized as surplus. And surplus can stay inside the pension fund as long as you, other, you have other plan members like your children that are on the payroll. So there's no deemed disposition problem and the surplus is now made available for the rest. So just quickly, by way of comparison, if you have an RSP with $3 million and you have a deemed disposition, typically half goes to taxes. However, with us, if your children are part of the plan, the full $3 million is available in the form of pension surplus and continues to go tax sheltered. So a very significant difference. And this is important because fortunately the, the biggest destroyer of wealth is taxation in Canada. So if we're able to tax shelter, we can guarantee more wealth for ourselves. There are other tax shelters out there like being able to sell your primary residence and not pay tax on the double gain, the RSP we talked about, TFSA, pensions is what we're talking about today, and whole life insurance, which um, can also complement. Problem is, as uh, Dr. Trent mentioned, 98% of us are using the RSP because that's all we know. But the RSP is not good for people that earn very high incomes. So therefore, if it's not tax efficient for us lawyers, then what's what's the answer? Well, it's simply to build your own pension plan, which is why we're here today. Because pension plans have been around for a long time. Here's some sample pension plans you probably have heard of that are, we call them the gold-plated pension plans because they're so generous. Well, we have all those rules wrapped into the Canadian Professionals Pension Plan. And that's what we're gonna discuss today. And the reason why we can offer lawyers a gold-plated solution is because we're relying on Section 147.1 of the Income Tax Act and all the rules that govern registered pension plans. Instead of what 98% of people are doing, which is the relying on Section 146, which is the, the set of rules for RSPs. So 
the CBVP is made up of personal pension plans, which are really an individual plan for one person, typically you, the lawyer, and it's got an employer, your professional corporation. Now it has to start before age 71, but you can start it at any age. It could be 25, leaving uh, after uh, articling or 22 or whatever, all the way to age 71. And what we do is we federate these PPPs, they're like building blocks, into the umbrella CPP. So, quick summary of what the personal pension plan provides. All the contributions are tax deductible to your professional corporation. All expenses are tax deductible. The growth is tax, is, is the tax exempt. You can do top-up contributions. If, uh, for example, the um, rate of return is low because you're very conservative with your savings, you can do top-up special payments which are uh, or past service contributions if you receive the salary from your professional corporation in previous years. I've already mentioned you can income split your pension with a spouse, but in this case, you can do it at any age. You don't have to be 65 to income split. And to relay what we've already mentioned, you can transfer your pension tax free to your children if they're members of the plan. And we can also do accelerated funding, more tax deductions, if you decide to turn on the pension before the normal retirement age of 65. So let's look at a quick example of how these rules all fit together. Here's a 47 year old who wants to save until 65. And if they were to just maximize their RRSP contributions every year from 2021 to 2038, you see the uh, the orange, the growth of the money. But because pension laws are more generous than RSP rules, because we are able to put more money aside each year, we're following the blue curve. So by the time this comparison ends at age 65, the lawyer now has $693,000 of extra registered money available for retirement. That's the gap between the two graphs the two lines of the graph. But remember, we've used a 5% rate of return in both cases. We haven't taken more risk to generate this close to $700,000 of extra money. So it's that wealth that we want to share with, with lawyers. And we do it by working with best-in-class partners. So we've deliberately sourced out some of the biggest names in Canada. Our custodian is Fidelity Clearing, which is part of the Fidelity Investment Empire, the largest mutual fund company in the world. The largest uh, mutual fund company in Canada, CI Financial, and that's one of our portfolio managers. For the insurance provision, which we're not going to talk about today, we're using Manulife, which is the largest uh, player in Canada. And um, we use Vector Global, which is the international portfolio management firm that's based in Miami that has an office in Canada uh, to, uh, to do the day-to-day -day, uh, portfolio management. Our actuarial work is done by Industrial Alliance Financial Group, which is the fourth largest insurance company in Canada. And the legal review, the, the pension compliance is done by Integris Pension Management. So all of that, uh, gives us a very deep uh, back office. But if that wasn't enough, because we're relying on pension legislation, we also get or give our lawyers the highest level of creditor protection in Canada. And of course, the plan is approved both by the CRA, the federal government, and depending on the province in which you're located, depending on your status, you might even get the provincial pension regulator involved. So it will depend on which province you're in. In terms of pricing, uh, normally these plans come with setup fees. We waive these. And then on an annual basis, there's a $2,800 fee. However, we are reimbursing that fee at a rate of 25% per year cumulatively. So by the end of the first year, after we've reimbursed 25% of the $2,800, 
the net cost is 2,373. After the end of the second year, it's 50% refund. So really the cost is 1,500 bucks and change and so forth and so on. By the time year four rolls around, the fee disappears. And the reason why we're able to do that is because we are uh, able to get some uh, referral fees from the portfolio manager, which allows us to cover those costs for our clients without increasing the cost of the client. So we're not charging more money uh, to manage the assets. We're actually charging lower amounts and we're using the referral fees to eliminate the actuarial fees. So how do you get started? Well, it's always best to start with a complimentary illustration. And because we want to find out how much can you contribute for your past income, if you receive a salary in previous years, uh, how much are you going to be able to contribute from now until whatever retirement date you select, what you can expect in, in terms of retirement, and if this is applicable to you, assuming you have a spouse on the payroll or children that you could put on the payroll, you know how we want to do that as well to do this intergenerational wealth transfer. There's a lot more, but in order to get your illustration, we recommend that you spend a little bit of time on our website or to contact our pension facilitator, uh, Mr. Giovanetti, and his email is appearing here on the last page. So Dr. Trent, I'll pass it back over to you for final thoughts. Thank you very much, JP, for going through the explanation with us. Uh, it's very detailed. For sure, I think this sometimes takes a few sittings before we truly understand. And so this is a short video highlighting a lot of the features, but there are a lot of other uh, nuances and benefits to this pension plan that we obviously cannot describe in one video, otherwise we would go on forever. And so please, I, I encourage you to come on to our website. Uh, on when you come onto our website, there's a button to contact us and we can immediately uh, respond back to you and then schedule a time to chat with you and go through some of the questions that you may have. Or you can also email Nick uh, and we'd be happy to reach out. Uh, so thank you very much for uh, listening and uh, have a good one.